everybody, and welcome to another episode of Dan Andrew's Garage. Today we have something special for you. It is the birthday beer wagon battle with Paul at Fat Guy Productions. That's right, it's his birthday, and we picked the Bone Shaker. That's right, so let's get it up on the car stand and see what we have to work with. Yeah, let's do it. All right, folks, and here we are. We have chosen, of course, the Bone Shaker, and I think this would be a great platform to put together uh, Paul's birthday build of a, of a beer wagon. What do you think, son? I think that's actually a really good idea with a bone shaker. Yeah, and I'll probably cut a lot of it apart because, uh, you know, to make this look like a beer wagon, I think we'd like to have a little beer tank on the back. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. And I know you're a young fella, so no beer for you until you're about 18 years old. Oh, man. <laughs> that's it. But anyways, for sure, uh, yeah, we think we can uh, do something really cool with this. So, uh... What do you think, son? Shall we get to the restoration? Yeah, let's do it. Boy! All right. All right there, folks. And here we are. We have our uh, bone shaker. And uh, once again, I've already taken the liberty of drilling it apart. And I think we all know the bone shaker by now. This one has a, a, an open roof, which is kind of neat. And uh, we have, of course, the one-piece body there and the base, uh, the chassis. So, and what we have to do is make this into kind of a beer wagon. So, I think we're going to have to use a lot of spare parts. So, what we have here that I think is cool is we got right on, look at this, a big barrel of Miller High Life. So, we're going to see if we can incorporate that into the build. And I also have a, an old uh, bucket here. So, here we're going to see if we can do something with this. And, my goodness, a few other bits and pieces. You know, I think another big engine here, which uh, we may be able to use. So... We're going to see if we can make a little hot rod out of this around the Tom Daniels-esque kind of uh, kind of build. So we'll see what we can do. Hopefully uh, <laughs> I can pull something off. Well, all right, everyone. Here we are. Uh, we've uh, been doing some cutting and grinding on the old uh, bone shaker here. As you can see, I cut the front and the, uh, the bed off uh, so I can have the cab, which is kind of nice and classic looking. And... Uh, Put a little bit of sand to it so she'll accept the uh, the uh, strip. And we also had the old bed left over from that Chevy Apache we did when we did the beef eaters build uh, and made the bucket truck. So uh, I think marrying these two up is what I'm looking at. And I've also been doing some grinding in the old uh, Miller High Life beer barrel, which is going to be able to fit right here on the back. And oh, there we go. Look at that. There we go. Perfect. And so that's sort of what we're looking at. <laughs> it looks a little corny right now, but we'll see. Uh, lucky I had a few spares on these uh, from a, an old Frank Mint uh, beer truck that I that I had. Had too many barrels. So anyways, you have that. But now it's time to put these fellas inside the stripper and get some of the old uh, stripper on them. There we go. And let them let the stripper do its stuff while we uh, have some supper. <laughs> So we'll see you later, folks, and uh, yeah, we'll just get these uh, set up. But yeah, there we go. Hopefully this works, and we have a nice stripped uh, body that we can work All right there, everyone. Well, uh, the things came out of the stripper, and we've uh, sort of uh, given the wire brush and a bit of a clean off, and uh, now we're going to see about f uh, fabricating this into a hot rod. I also will put a... Uh, Put a front bulkhead onto my uh, bone shaker cab because we're going to change the whole configuration of the engine. So, uh, in addition, uh, not only is this uh, Paul's uh, birthday build over at Fat Guy Productions, but it's also a homage to Tom Daniels, who was a prolific hot rod designer back in the uh, you know 60s and 70s, and he designed such crazy classics which, uh, that were awesome, such as the uh, the beer wagon, which is the theme of this event and the uh, paddy wagon, and also the Red Baron. So these are really cool hot rods back in the day, kind of things that made all of us fall in love with hot rods and car culture. So in the light of this, uh, I thought I'd put things together from all kinds of different makers, because we have here a, uh, well, we got a Maisto, uh, we got a Maisto uh, base here, chassis, and I have the uh, an M2 uh, box here that used to be from a Ford Apache, or the Chevy Apache, and I have the Hot Wheels uh, Bone Shaker cab, and I even have the uh, the barrel here from a uh, from a Franklin Mint car. So we're gonna put all of this together, and hopefully she'll look uh, kind of neat. So right now I'm gonna get into the gluing phase and try and glue these two together. So we'll see how this is gonna look. <laughs> Stay tuned. 
All right, everyone. Well, we have the uh, flatbed uh, secured firmly to the cab with a bone shaker here. So uh, now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, get ready to put a nice uh, coat of uh, yellow primer on it. We're also going to do the uh, front grill here as well, grill and headlight assembly. And we'll get a uh, shot of primer on that too. And hopefully uh, it will take, because we're going to give it a nice yellow uh, color in uh, homage to the original beer wagon from Tom Daniels, which was pretty awesome. Uh, hopefully uh, this will turn out okay. So, uh, yes. All right, everyone. Well, we have been working diligently on this, and we've also been working on the, uh, the base. And we put about <laughs> two extra bits of plastic on the back to uh, sort of... Uh, Extend the rear tires to uh, fit the uh, the bed on the back of our uh, beer shaker. <laughs> so uh, it's like an M2. We have a Hot Wheel. We have a Maisto base with an M2 uh, uh, base uh, melded onto it for the tires. So this isn't looking so far too bad. I love the stance on it. I also, uh, what we did was uh, we put on the, uh, what do you call it? I think some bit of this brass tubing here, which we used as spacers here on the tires. Right, right in between here. And that's just because uh, we wanted these rear tires to have the same sort of stance as the front ones. You see? Yeah, so hopefully that will uh, make it look good. Uh, get the shadow out of here. But she seems to... Oh, there's upside down. <laughs> it seems to roll well and it has a nice uh, nice rake to it. So, yeah, hopefully this will turn out. And uh, stay tuned and we should be able to put everything together shortly. All right, everyone. And uh, here it is, the uh, old uh, bone shaker before we put the Dad and Andrew's garage spin on it. But uh, with all the work we put into this, uh, I think we have a pretty cool bone shaker beer wagon for uh, Paul's birthday bash. What do you think, son? Yeah, I think it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, what, what should we call it? The beer bo the beer shaker? Yeah, the beer shaker. <laughs> well, let's call it the beer shaker. So, hey, without further ado... Let's get ready for the reveal. All right, everybody, and here we are. Our brand new Tom Daniels inspired bone shaker. Except now it's the beer shaker. <laughs> Couldn't resist that. I know you don't want to shake your beer, but uh, yes, the beer shaker here, based on Tom Daniels and in honor of Paul's birthday build. So, uh, yeah, in the spirit of Tom Daniels, we wanted to uh, make this look like one of those old hot rods. Uh, so, of course, we use the uh, bone shaker chassis, or the bone shaker cab, the chassis uh, from an, uh, an M2 and a Maisto. And also, uh, we used the Hot Wheels engine, and I had an old barrel left over from a Franklin Mintker. The uh, old, uh, it was a beer truck as well, I think a Model T Ford beer truck. So we also took the skull shaker, we took that apart, we put that jolly little driver in there with his uh, goatee and mustache. What do you think, son? Yeah, it looks really funny. Nope, kids do not drink beer. <laughs> well, absolutely. That's right, my friend. You're not going to be doing that for a long time. But uh, for all the adults there, yeah, we hope this, uh, this beer wagon comes by and uh, gives everybody a little cup of cheer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Paul, we hope you have a really great birthday. We really enjoyed this one, and I hope everybody else watches uh, the other videos that uh, were put forth, because this is going to be one epic build. And uh, everybody, hopefully, will have a good day. I hope, Paul, you have a good day. And uh, I guess in closing, we'd like to say... Happy birthday, Paul! Happy birthday! And everyone, take care. See you later, everybody!